everybody. It's really, really gloomy and rainy. No rainy, but really windy day. It's gonna rain later on. So we're like at home doing nothing. They just fell asleep anyways. Right next to mama. So cute. So cute. They just fell asleep. That's how they fell asleep last night too. This baby girl in my hands and my baby boy right next to me. But since she woke up a few times and just walked around the room um last night i don't know why she just woke up and she just made a few circles around and it took a while to put her back to sleep but she cried so even the boys woke up especially the one at 5 30 so i don't know why she did that but when she does, we all cannot sleep, I guess, so this baby's still nesting. It's okay, Mom. It's okay, Swat. It's okay, baby. Really precious. <laughs> My baby girl a few days ago um, um, kind of um, scratched her little forehead here with uh, on the sand outside there's a sandbox and dirt um, hills made man-made and so she scratched so now it's gonna start peeling soon it's about to heal but she was born with something um here there's like a little ball like soft kind of bones that you can i can feel it and they say that she's too small to be put under to sleep so they can cut and take it out it's like some kind of um what do you call it like um cyst kind of like um oily kind of i don't know i don't know you know some people have like some kind of like um things like that on their faces like a little bit bumps i think that's that's like that but i think it's okay it's not that visible but um it's not that big either but since she's my lady and she's good it's like on her makeup line too so her um, eyebrow line so i think it's good to take it off eventually and they might have like a little scar but i'd rather have that than this bump i know my boys have except this little guy not yet but all my three other boys have on their right eyebrow <laughs> a scar anyways they all have their own stories about it, but it's really interesting all of them have a scar on their right eyebrow so she might not be an exclusion of that yeah it's um a low-key day again it's just like don't want to do anything and it's really really windy outside i was like where the heck did oh, the wind come it's like a typhoon outside seems like it stopped or something because i don't hear it anymore and there's a lot to do i have to actually go and get some groceries again because there's no much in the house there's no bread um and th there's documents i have to send to my dad for the babies to be registered and get their social security number back in bulgaria as citizens so i can start their passport work have to do that too and there's a lot to do i just now they're sleeping and peaceful so i just feel like i'm just gonna stay here with them and um yeah just stay here with them while they're sleeping while they're napping I just put them probably next to their puppy dogs and Mickey Mouse and Elmo recently they really like that song the Elmo song la 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 Elmo song anyways so we have lots of Mickeys this is from my sister she sent it to me it was, it's really cute little Mickey this is the one I got him recently from the mall 
because I was like, what the heck? We don't, and it's it's like not that big toy, but the others that I have from from my sister are minis, and they're bigger size. But that's Mickey works. He likes his Mickey, and Kalia likes Mickey too. Yeah. Um. Um. This year, my boys, um, the older two. He'll be coming home from school after 4 30. Like the sixth period ends up like around 3 30, and then they have another hour of track and field, whatever. They try to suck their energy out of them, which I appreciate because when they come home, they're pretty much tired. But then coming home that late is like um, they don't have time to. And when they that oh, that's all they do they just finish their homework right after school and then it's time for dinner and after dinner is bath time and boom it's you know almost bedtime and just relax in front of the tv and that's it so it's like the whole day they spent at the school and i don't remember probably it was the same for me too i don't remember much but it's a good thing for them to they're boys and they need their energy out i I think it's a good idea it's just it's like I don't really get to spend much time with them and um, listen to them and know about them so when they talk to me I try to listen to and um, kind of don't really give them so much of do this do that anymore and just like let them do what they have they have i just remind them what they have to do and and yeah don't talk much about that and just if they want to share something from school i listen and that's it most of the time i'm just with those two little guys and and that's about it And it really sucks when I post those videos online and then I see like like straight after some person with like first and last name in English names putting um a link with a, a time like for example zero fifty seconds of and then a website underneath and i don't even want to check it and the first time that happened um i clicked on it and it was it went to a website that had like a an asian lady i'm, I'm pretty sure it was chinese but like kind of like chubby and um with with her uh, bosom here showing and it it was not revealing everything but like it was a chubby lady with her boobs like almost all out and i was like and so i reported it and um ever since then i get like few of those like i get those a lot and so i always report 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 but it's just like why people would tag their pornographic or whatever websites into my video like what does it have to do with it like my videos are not even popular or i don't know it just makes me sick like people are so sick and those are not just um, names of men some of them are like ladies names i mean i'm pretty sure you could put whatever name you want um it could be even the same person under different you know it could be anything and anybody but I just think they're just wasting their time because I'm not going to allow that to happen to my videos and um, just make them like dirty. Like, I don't like it. I don't like that. If people want to stare at pornography, if people want to be part of it, that's their free will. I don't want to be part of it and I don't want to um, encourage people to do that on my videos. So that's not going to happen. Sorry. This is the second time I'm 
saying that in my videos because <clears throat> it's just really annoying it's really annoying and just like it's annoying to live in a place where in a place where you don't really feel um loved or recognized or appreciated or p at peace um i think it, in the last general conference i talked yesterday about that a little bit but the general conference talks of the prophet and apostles of the modern prophet and apostles of the church of jesus christ later days since when i listened to those talks i didn't listen to everything just yet so i'll do that while the babies are sleeping but in one talk there was um this quote oh i cannot really quote it word by word right now but it was pretty much saying everybody should feel everybody has the right to feel loved and everybody has the right to feel um you know special and appreciated and at peace at home everybody has that right and so um that just made me cry right there because um for so many years it hasn't been like, and it's not just the a responsibility of raising so many kids um and keeping them safe and healthy and take him to hospitals and um dealing with their struggles and they're going through stuff so so you ultimately lose yourself and all that but just feel like doing it without alone like that's how it feels it feels really lonely and at some point i just shut down and i feel like oh i can do this you know i can do this alone and i'm capable of being able to do it alone and as much as i can i will do it um alone um and I don't mind. It's it's the most sacred calling on earth to be a mom. I was blessed to be able to have five kids and even lose two more. But um, they're not lost to me. I just don't know them yet. I I know they're there around and helping us from the other side of the veil, but yeah. Anyways, um, I think I'm just gonna leave it to that and um keep going the best way I can the best way I know I just keep going and that's all for today folks <laughs> and 